Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The US Army granted BAE Systems a contract worth $754,335,634 for the acquisition of additional armored multipurpose vehicles, AMPVs, with an expected completion date of February 28, 2027. This contract follows a prior award of $19,500,242 on January 31, 2024 for reactive armor kits, cold start kits, and supplemental air transport kits for the AMPVs, which are set to replace the currently utilized M113 vehicles. As outlined in the procurement schedule, the U.S. Army plans to ramp up the number of AMPVs over the coming years. 57 units were slated for fiscal year, FI, 2023, with subsequent increases to 91 units in FI 2024 and 81 units in FI 2025. The plan further includes a rise to 122 units for both FI 2026 and FI 2027, followed by 131 units for FI 2028, before declining to 87 units for FI 2029. The AMPVs serve various roles within the U.S. Army's Armored Brigade Combat Team, ABCT, and are designed to replace the aging M113 family of vehicles. Aligned with the Army Next Generation Combat Vehicle Modernization Priority, they offer capabilities aimed at improving survivability against mines, improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and direct fire. Sharing common design elements with the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the M109A7 Paladin self-propelled howitzer, particularly in their powertrain and suspension systems, aims to streamline logistics and maintenance for ABCTs. The 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team of the 3rd Infantry Division became the first unit to transition from M113S to AMPVs, receiving over 130 of these vehicles following requisite training. The AMPVs encompass five variants, each tailored to specific operational requirements. The M1283 General Purpose GP, variant operates across the battlefield for resupply, maintenance, and alternate casualty evacuation CASAVOTS, serving as the 1st Sergeant's vehicle for the Combined Arms Battalion. It accommodates a driver, commander, and four soldiers and can be reconfigured for Cassavots to accommodate a supine litter casualty without interference. The M1284 Medical Evacuation Vehicle, MEV, is equipped with medical treatment facilities, offering reconfigurable ambulatory capacity for up to six personnel or evacuation capacity for up to four litter patients. Its equipment is akin to that of civilian ambulances, enhancing medical capabilities in the battlefield. The M1285 Medical Treatment Vehicle, MTV, features advanced medical equipment for aiding injured soldiers on the battlefield. Capable of conducting damage control resuscitation, it serves as a forward aid station with erectable treatment shelter, medication, vital signs monitor, defibrillator, and refrigeration for blood storage, ensuring patient stability in varied warfare environments. Serving as the core of the U.S. Army's Armored Brigade Combat Team, ABCT, Network Modernization Strategy, the M-1286 Mission Command, MC, Variant facilitates digital mission command and offers enhanced size, weight, power, and cooling limitations. It significantly bolsters command, control, communications, and computer capabilities, with a structure configurable based on future force protection needs, providing immediate, responsive heavy mortar fire support to the Armored Brigade Combat Team, ABCT, the M1287 Mortar Carrier, MC, utilizes the M121 Mortar System and the M95 Mortar Fire Control System. Besides logistical resupply and casualty evacuation, it supports command post operations and heavy mortar fire support, ensuring versatility and agility for various missions. Additionally, BAE Systems recently introduced the AMPV turreted mortar variant, equipped with the Patria Nemo remote-controlled 120mm turreted mortar system. Looking forward, there are potential plans for further variants, including the AMPV CUAS designed to detect, track, identify, and neutralize stationary and moving air and ground targets like the Gepard 1A2. It carries a Leonardo DRS Maneuver Short Range Air Defense, m Shorad turret, armed with a 30mm XM914 cannon, a 7.62mm M240 machine gun, and eight launchers for Stinger short-range surface-to-air missiles, organized in two assemblies of four launchers each. That's all for now. See you later.